Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Man, I have an hour and 20 minutes until our live stream Monday night. E2 Blue's supposed to be in the house. We'll see if he's going to be late or not. But uh, I just got back from a walk with the wife, man, and I'm just getting getting dinner cooking, and I still have to finish getting set up for our live stream. But a little tease, a little tease. Zeke Elliott, Zeke, you know, I don't know if you realize it or not, but there is no drama this offseason with Zeke Elliott. Think about that. Last year we were dealing with the contract and him being in Cabo. And before that we were dealing with Las Vegas. Vega Las Vegas. And before that, we were dealing with the suspension. And then we were dealing with Booby Gate. And of course, then there was the boat thing down in Florida where he was on a jet ski when they came through and found out there weren't enough life preservers. And so on. But here we have this year, there's no drama at all with Zeke Elliott. Zeke Elliott is in camp working out hard along with the rest of the Cowboys. Zeke Elliott said, first of all, about C.D. Lamb, about how great he has come along, that he's looking good and that he's incredible. In fact, Zeke Elliott went on to say, and I quote, this is the most talented team that I've ever been a part of. We'll definitely be talking about this tonight. I think that I may have to concur. In his time of being in Dallas, let's think about the wide receiver core we had. We did have Des. We had Des. But we, and Cole Beasley. But that was really about it. We never really had a knockdown, drag out, great wide receiver core. Not one I think that's better than the one we have now. During his time here, we had Tony Romo, but Tony Romo didn't play. So we had Dak Prescott. Running back wise, I dare say that Tony Pollard is better than anybody else that we've had with him. Alfred Morris is pretty good, but not a good pass catching running back offensive line this is the one spot I may have to say mm, I'm not sure because we did lose Travis Frederick we got Connor Williams who still has been injured two years you got Tyron Smith a little older Zach Martin is still stud Lyle Collins is a little out of shape so that's the question mark that I have there tight end wise his rookie year, Jason Witten would have been probably better than Blake Jarwin, but I don't know that he's better completely now. Defensive-wise, I'd say we definitely have a whole lot more playmakers. When you think about guys like Morris Claiborne and Brandon Carr, uh, Barry Church as defensive backs, I think the group we have is better. Um... Diggs, I think, is going to be the real deal. Defensive line. Hmm. Defensive line, markedly better than any talent that he had in the time that he's been here. Uh, we have a lot of pro bowlers. I know some of them are a little long in the tooth, but they're still guys that are still able to get it done. So I think I have to agree with Zeke Elliott that this is the most talented team that he's been a part of as far as, at least as far as the pros. And I don't know about college. Uh, you know, when you look at college, it's a different level. If you say against other colleges, uh, I don't know. But still, it's safe to say that this year that the Dallas Cowboys do have a lot of talent on the team. I'll say the good thing about this team and the advantage that the Cowboys may have over other teams is the fact that um, 
Dak Prescott and crew work from home. We have no idea how much practicing they actually got in with that field being right there at Dak Prescott's house. So to get CeeDee Lamb there and Amari Cooper and Zeke and Blake Jarwin and all those guys there working out, they may actually have a leg up on other people. And we'll, we'll touch more on this in uh, about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully you two will make it here on time. But yeah, interesting take. And the Cowboys today in practice worked on tackling. And what they did was they had offensive players holding pads on a mat, tackling. Yeah. A lot different than what we used to do. But let me get these burgers finished and get set up. Let's see if I can do something with this hair. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon.